Hi everyone, welcome to Diana's Table. Today I want to show you how I make uh, sujeonggwa, which is uh, cinnamon, ginger, and persimmon tea. Sujeonggwa is a very special tea that we usually have as dessert. And my grandmother used to make it only on special occasions. But because I liked it so much that I developed my own recipe for making it sort of simple and easy so that I can have it all year round. It is a tea that we usually have in the winter months, but because it's served cold, it's also very nice in the hot summer months as well. So I hope you will join me, try this tea this winter, and let's get started. The ingredients you need are uh, cinnamon. I've actually um, cleaned them. You have to make sure that the inside of this whole cinnamon is nice and clean as well. Sliced ginger, uh, we have pine nuts, walnuts, brown sugar. Uh, please use brown sugar rather than the white sugar because it will add to the depth of the taste. Water. Dry persimmon, and here again, um, I want to show you the difference between these two. You can see sort of the white powdery sugar on the uh, persimmon. It's not mold. So don't worry about it. Actually, the better, more whiter it is, the better or sweeter tasting the persimmon will be. So in order to make the uh, cinnamon base tea, I'm going to put about one cup of cinnamon and two liters of water. It's really important to boil these separately, the uh, cinnamon and the ginger because that way each uh, cinnamon water and ginger water will have its own distinct taste. So when you blend it, you don't lose it. So put one cup of ginger, again, the same amount of water, which is about two liters or you know one large bottle of water. I recommend that you use bottled water rather than um, res regular faucet water because it, it tastes better. Turn it on. Again, boil for 30 minutes on medium high. So while the uh, ginger and cinnamon water is boiling, I like to make uh, persimmon rolls filled with walnuts. Uh, I like to use these uh, persimmons that are really nice and dry, but still very soft. And I cut the, the tip off like this. And make just one slit and open up the flesh. And sometimes you see seeds in it, and, but this one, I don't see any seeds. But I, maybe I'll remove this dark part. You want it to be nice. Again. So you have this sort of a um, long piece of dry persimmon. Here I'm going to put the walnuts in like this. And because it's really nice and juicy, I, I put maybe four pieces like that. And it's almost like making a uh, kimbap or you know roll. So you just put your finger over like this and squeeze in tight so that the, the flesh of the persimmon sort of wraps the walnuts so it doesn't you know, come out when you slice it like that. And just to make sure the, the walnuts remain intact, you squeeze with your hands a couple times. Let me make one more just to show you. Cut the top. Make one slit on the side. And this one, you can see it's a little bit darker than the one before. Just make sure that there are no seeds. And then So nice and clean. Again, put the walnuts 
and to one side and roll with your finger just to squeezing it slightly okay and then okay pack it down firmly so here I made some before so it's really nice um, and packed so it looks really good when you uh, slice it on the side like this so you see how the walnut is in there So if you don't pack it uh, firmly, you know, the walnuts sort of come out. So it's important to make sure it's packed. And these really make um, great sort of uh, appetizer or even um, like little hors d'oeuvres for when you serve with cheese. I mean, it's not only for Korean food you can use. I like to serve these as uh, side dish for when I'm serving different kinds of cheese or even for wine. And you can just eat it as it is. It's you know great for dessert. But uh, later on, I'm going to put it into my tea, which really makes the tea taste rich and you can uh, looks beautiful as well. So as you can see here, we have the uh, boiling uh, ginger water and the cinnamon water. Uh, you know that ginger water is done when you actually, it looks yellow, right? You, and you can smell the ginger as well. And the cinnamon water, of course, looks a little more brown. So I'm going to mix equal parts of the ginger water and cinnamon water together to, with sugar to make sujongga. This is sort of the final stage. So you may not want to use all of the ginger water and the cinnamon water to mix sujongga. So the way to do it is always the equal part. So let's say one cup, I'm going to do maybe three cups of ginger water. And I can save the ginger water for some other things. So I will do equal parts of the cinnamon water. And the amount of brown sugar do you add will depend on the, um, your personal preference, whether you like it really sweet or less sweet. But minimum that you have to have is right now we put in six cups of liquid. Then I would put in at least uh, half a cup of sugar. It's a lot, but this is actually almost two cups. I'm just going to put in one fourth. And you melt the brown sugar. And please use brown sugar, uh, not white sugar, because brown sugar will add to the color and also bring out the taste of um, ginger and cinnamon better. And it won't be as sweet. And basically what you do is you, you know, taste it and see if it's sweet enough for your own personal taste. It's ready and basically we usually like to eat this cold. So I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and cool it before I serve it. Find a jar and then put it in the refrigerator. So the tea is ready and I'm going to show you how I serve it. Uh, we made the um, persimmon, dry persimmon roll with walnuts before. So I'm going to put maybe two in the glass and pour the tea over. And add maybe a few pine nuts. And 
and it's ready. It's ready to drink. I usually serve it with a spoon so that you can eat the uh, persimmon as well. But um, it's very nice to serve as dessert or even as welcoming drink. Okay, so I'm going to taste it. Uh, i let you know how it tastes. Mmm. It's got that really good balance of ginger and cinnamon. And actually the dry persimmons add that sort of a very nice fruity taste at the end. I like actually dry persimmon best. So I'm going to eat my persimmon now rather than wait until the end. Mm. Bon appétit!